softly and slowly the shadows and trying not to go too deep. I, that's the one problem that I have always had working with airbrush is that I always I tend to make things a lot darker uh, than they should. And so it's a struggle for me to, um, to really go slow. You know, it's something I really have to work on all the time. Otherwise, my paintings get too dark too quick, and um, I wind up re redoing it. You know, if I screw up at this stage, you know, I'll just redo it. You know, I find that when you're working it, uh, the students are very hard to let go of their paintings or their drawings or their their designs. You know, and I'll come over and look at it and go, "You have so many problems with this design on this page. You know, let's start over." And they want to sit there and try to fix it. And then I show them in two seconds how, let's just take these good elements, start with a new document, you know, and redo this, or a new sketch, and let's put these in the proper place, and now look what you can do. I go, oh, okay, you know, and then they, then they get the ideas and say, okay, now I see what, they just, it's hard to let go. And it's the same thing here, you can get too dark, too quick, and um, you really have to make a conscious effort not to do that. I've grown very fond of using ultramarine blue for my base sky color these days. Somehow the cerulean of my childhood is not holding up. <coughs> and even in a flat sky, sometimes I like to leave a little variation in color, and in this case I'm finding out if there's any color that didn't get fully washed out of the brush. And because a little bit of variation would be a little tastier than just the flat sky. I wish I knew the title of the book and the author's name, but I got a really great tip. My mother lent me a book uh, at one point about painting on location, and I noticed that this guy's clouds were so far from white. I mean, really rich and heavy in yellows and pinks and blues and purples and greens. And I've been struggling with some of the brighter days to get that feel of what it looks like. And there's a, a snow painting in the other room that's a good example of, of how I've taken that into all of my painting now. I always say, when in doubt, add color. And again, even though I'm picking a bright color, I try and dirty it up a little bit. And when I lay in these, this uh, shadowed area, this is going to pop off too. What color is that shadow on the water on the right? It looks perfect. Yeah. So it, up here, it looks from back here, it looks perfect. The the shadow there. Yeah, that, yeah, on, on on the photograph too. It, it looks perfect. As a whole, it, it's oh, it's like a brown green interrupted with a pinky yeah. and purple. This is a, a two different services for the demos today. One is on for your beginning pastelists and the professional pastelists here um, um, is a uh, let's see, uh, you know, regular pastel paper, it, very popular, right? Uh, I don't know if the professional pa pastels here uh, work on uh, pastel paper or they they make uh, they put together a. Um, a lot of mixtures, uh, especially prepared surface. But as far as a um, support, uh, it's, a, it's called Tiziano, and uh, it's uh, very strong, and it takes uh, pastel beautifully. And very, very importantly, you can add, you can get it a bit of, not too wet, but you can add a little bit of um, uh, of water to it, and it will not it will not fall apart. So that is why um, I am um, using this, because we have a lot of painters here, and the pastels are also uh, do, uh, painting as well. So here is um, showing a, uh, a kind of very popular way, which is blending a lot of uh, artists uh, like to blend. And uh, this is uh, done uh, with, actually I use water uh, with this in certain areas. 
and a mixture of sourced pastel, hard pastel, and pastel and salts. So this So everybody uh, did see that, and so this is in a, a standard style of, of working, you know, blended a portrait. Okay. <laughs> uh, let me do uh, the first group of trees and the first floor of glasses. Uh, uh, so you pass a crack, you take all the clothes out. So I use left hand to pluck some trunks, branches, uh, and uh, leaves. Uh, this technique. Actually, I have uh, a paper uh, painting uh, on my DVD, similar, with a simple background. This background is complicated, uh, a more complicated. Yeah, and then you just repeat, you know, I would wax over the green and then I could dye it maybe blue and keep some blue areas and then if I wanted a really dark, some really dark leaves, I would leave that unwaxed so the dye upon dye upon dye would, uh, would make the colors that you want. For this guy, I did all the white parts, mm -hmm. and then I dyed this little tan color over here, which is mm -hmm. very, very, very diluted it's like a tan shower. color dye. Mm -hmm. Let that dry, waxed over the tan parts, I went to the orange, and the orange over the tan made this funky kind of background color, which I kept. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And the whole thing was this color. The whole thing was this color. And then so I kept what I wanted of that, and then I put in the orange. And then he just jumped right off the page. He just said, there I am. That must have taken a long time. Well, I, it was a long time to dry. And then just to sit there and figure out where you want tan, where you want the black stripes to be. gorgeous. Where, you know. Can you speed up the drying with like a, 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 a hair dry? No, no, it not wax. Just I, I, I mean, you should probably use a fan, mm -hmm. but you don't want to speed it up too much because you want to have the time to do the chemical reaction. Mm -hmm. That happens at a cellular level, so you don't want to want it to go too fast because then, you know, it'll just, I mean, if you were going to make clothing out of it and you went to rinse it, it well, most of the color would come out of it. It would just right. be very paler than this. I mean, this. Some of this came out when I did it, but I, I never rinse these. I never rinse them at all. I just leave them like that. And, um, you know, it's, that's how it is, and that's how they stay. It's very late he, he's like, he's, he's four years old. He hasn't changed a bit.